Hello and welcome back to more Dot Hack Quarantine. I went off to do Virus Core Quest. Got some more Virus Core J's. So we can go to another Net Slum recommended area. And I uh, add Pyros and Natsumi as my companions. So that's just who's going to go with us into this area as well. Everyone's already equipped up. My inventory is already done. So without further ado, let's get in the game. A uh, little word list. We're going to do a Dreaming Moonlight Gravestone. It is a level 81 earth area. It's going to have the same monsters. Is the one thing. It's the same monsters we've been running into in every area. I really wish they would have focused more on putting uh, specific monsters with that particular element in the different areas. And instead, it's just like whatever level you're at, you're going to run into the same monsters over and over again. some more elemental based creatures or just like elemental variants of those creatures and here we are I'm zoomed in I need to zoom out let's fairy zord the restocked ooh there's a lot of things here we are level 85 87 for myself so we're not going to be getting a whole... Oh, 88 myself. Uh, we're not going to be getting a whole lot of experience in this level 81 area. So I'm going to do one fight here, and then we're just going to go straight to the dungeon. Who are we fighting? Pumpkin heads? Oh, I thought I was right there for a second. Yeah, hey, Duke uh, we can sue it. Neptune Medusa. some trucks. So I just gotta watch out for Natsumi to go and attack Pyros and Pyros to do the same. Uh, we're gonna get Pyros healed first because he's gonna do a hell of a lot more damage than Natsumi's gonna do. And instead of actually casting, I'm just gonna get you guys back up to your few more hits. Well, I attempt to restrain these guys. It's just not working. It makes me think that I am not using the right one. Wasn't really paying attention to what kind of experience we were gaining. But I'm just so kind of dead set on just going straight to the dungeon. That, uh, I don't even really care to look. Regular treasure. The moon. Alright. We're in a grunty flute. Our rocker grunty. We hold down triangle, he just takes us straight to the dungeon. Doesn't go around the uh, bounds. We'll just run head first into him. There's the entrance that we can just walk right into.
All right. Let's give ourselves a fairy's orb. Don't believe I'm gonna clear. I wanna pay closer attention to the experience that we gain from here. Look at these flame effects, because we'll see what PS2 was working with the flame effects. Look at that flicker. Look at that. Yeah, it's so realistic. <laughs> it's just skills. Oh, it's a guardian. Okay, cool. Oh, if those guys are here, I'll do some more clearing. I get a lot of experience for fighting these guys. Oh, this is just us fighting. Just start fighting it. Just start beating it up, and I got a data trade. Stay in the back and cast magic, though. And it's what gives us a lot of uh, experience. But it hits like a truck. points. Alright, we're clearing we're clearing portals in this dungeon. We have the guardians rocking in this dungeon. We're gonna we're gonna clear it out. Looks like this this is gonna be worth it. Worth it enough to go back to the field and clear everything else? Nah, we're we're fine. We can do it this way. Uh oh, what was I gonna do? We're gonna do this. Rakeem, Rakeem Puros, and Natsumi. I've got so much demon mail in my bank storage right now, too. I gave Natsumi one. And it's just like every time that I get somebody who uses the medium type armor, they get one as well. Boom, there we go. So check this out, the other day, I'm just getting into getting a, a Dreamcast. I've had one, but I've never had the, uh, it's just one of these guys. I did not have a memory card, so I couldn't save any games. All I did was buy Wacky Racers and then, or bought a Dreamcast, game with two controllers, and then I bought, um, Wacky Racers in order to play just to make sure the Dreamcast worked. It was like a $20 game. Played it. Worked. It's like, alright, this is cool. Wacky Racers is kind of a, just a kart racer type game based on the old school Wacky Racers cartoon. And then, uh, I'm gonna wait. No, no, because I don't want a data drain. These guys, if the Guardian's around here, I want to save all my data draining for the Guardian. So I'll just focus on being the best support character there is. But uh, I finally went and bought a uh, memory card for the Dreamcast. Bought it at my retro game store that I go to. Had to change the batteries on it. There's the Guardian. Oh no, he's hitting me. Oh, this is bad. Uh, oh, he's doing it again. the best support character there is. I say as one of my allies dies. Hey, he's broken. Their demon mail. He dropped something else too. 
Where are you guys going? Skills on. Uh oh. Get out of here. Heroes, great to find him. You see, you just let Natsuki die. And now we're both stuck here. Resurrect Natsuki. Healing elixir, Heroes. Cast it off. Because now it just moves a whole lot faster. There, oh, I was gonna say they took him out, so they're not gonna get hurt. I was wrong. They they still got hurt. in there and the date for some of the memory that was stored on there was back in like 2008 2006 I was like oh this is cool you can see you can only use three letter names so there's people who have three letter names on there and I thought about getting the games that it's saved for and it's like Crazy Taxi Sonic 2 and Sonic Adventures then I realized I also don't really need to get those games for the Dreamcast because they released them on uh, the PC. I could play all those games on Steam. <laughs> but it's still cool to see. Like uh, old data on memory cards. I thought about doing that with PS2 memory cards also. Going through and... Uh, getting an old PS2 memory card, finding out what game... Oh, please, the wrong Target. Um. Here it is. Get an old PS2 memory card, getting the game that's saved on there, and then playing it. Wherever they left off at. Oh, we got a guardian? Oh, we just. Makes you wonder what kind of items are here. Maybe there's some actual decent ones. The Cosmic True. But in my retro gaming hunt, I'm currently trying to get Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 for the PlayStation. Because I found out even though they made a high-def version of 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 4, it does not have the same soundtrack. Because, of course, there's rights and licenses to those particular songs, and they weren't able to get them for all the songs. And the soundtrack for 1 and 2, in my opinion, was one of the greatest soundtracks of all the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. And playing the game with that soundtrack is really what made... I think the game more fun. It's because I really like the music that would play in it. And you only had like a certain time limit to do uh, uh, certain things like per level. And the timing was like about one song. But even now, like all those songs from that uh, album in my favorite list on Spotify. What was Obreon? A level 43 blade master weapon. Alright, so it's still... 
and spitting out low level items. Retro gaming hunt is going and getting uh, Cartoon Network video games. So all the cartoons from Cartoon Network, uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Uh, what was another one that they had? Kids Next Door has a game on PlayStation 2. Uh, let's see. Who else had what? I wish they made a Courage the Cowardly Dog game. They never did. I don't even know if Courage is in... They have a kart racer in like a battle game. And I don't know if they put Courage into that. Um, they've done a bunch of Adventure Time video games too. So there's like three, I think. And then... Um, oh, what else? Dexter's Lab has some games. Oh god. It's just, just hard to tell which one to do. Sugile these guys and then. Again, that pump gets a pain in the ass too. I don't want to move. Last thing I need is like a guardian in that portal over there. That last Lich Lord. Alright. Uh, let's unconfuse Natsumi. Where am I? I'm at the bottom. That's why everything looks so weird. Oh, she's, uh, she unconfused herself. Fine. Guess I'm just not needed here. The Bureau's... I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stay right where we're at. Why you guys aren't using your magic? Though I haven't really tried it. 
look at this. Curious though if I can. So where are they? No. Uh data drain it. Take down. Ooh, everybody levels up. I'm level 90 now. Oh, I found out too. Johnny Bravo has a game. I'm trying to remember what console it was. I feel like it was a handheld. But it wasn't on PlayStation. Powerpuff Girls have a bunch of games. They have three on the Game Boy. Like, uh, OG Game Boy. I wanna say it was like the clear cases. I don't think those were colored just yet. But it was like each Powerpuff Girl got their own little handheld game where it was like Bubbles versus him. Uh, was it Blossom versus Mojo? And Buttercup versus... Oh, was it the gang? Green gang? Maybe it was Fuzzy Lumpkins? Uh, I forget who it was. But I've got two out of three of them. And then they had... I think it was two on the N64. Let's go over this way first. Home for Imaginary Friend have two games. One on the Nintendo DS. And I want to say one for the PlayStation 2. I may be wrong. I think it was all handheld. A lot of the games were like handheld games. Oh, it's a big creature. Big Duke Cruise! Let's see. Sleepy for the big creature. Just has darkness and tolerance. And I have. Yeah, Diablo Blades has that light. Is Tempest Strike also lightning? It is. Get in there and hit him with that. Tempest Strike. Yeah, and he just falls fast. <laughs> it's like a clay animation death. Uh, level 90. That's right. Strength them back up. my retro game collection instead of just doing like all games for the PlayStation, all games for the PlayStation 2, that type of thing. I have everything in categories where I'm trying to complete 
full series of games, like I've completed collecting all the Onimusha games, including one I didn't know they had called Onimusha Tactics, which was on the Game Boy Advance. They do prove. But everything else, all four games, are on PlayStation 2. So you got Onimushas 1 through 3, and then uh, Dream... Uh, I forget what it's called. Dream something. Dream Warriors, I think is what it was called. Never got to play Dream Warriors. And then they have... So maybe it's not Dream Warriors, because there's uh, another game called Blade Warriors. So there's actually five games on the PlayStation 2 that's all Odinusha. Yeah, one through three, you got Dream whatever it is. And then you've got a, uh, Blade Warriors, which was a kind of, uh, platform, uh, platform-based combat game. And they added in their Zero and, uh, Mega Man. I want to say they used EX Mega Man and then the Zero from the Zero games. My magic as well. Make it seem like I'm doing some offensive stuff too. Oh wow, it's just all this is. But I wonder if they ever did a Cowboy Bebop game. I feel like I've seen a PS2 Cowboy Bebop game. Oh no, it's awake again. I do know that there's a uh, Super Robo game that they have. That was Japan only. And it was Sunsoft, so it was a lot of the Sunsoft mecha anime characters. And they did wind up putting in uh, Spike Spiegel. And he would just fly around like in the Swordfish's ship. And uh, attack. And it was like all tactics based. And they do like little cutscenes when you go to attack. I'm gonna go back for the other stuff too. Since I'm here, though, let's attack this thing. What is it? It's not a guardian. Uh, right now, I'm focusing on trying to collect all the Kingdom Hearts games. So I just got recoded. I need to get... Um, what's it called? I don't know why I'm just regular attack this guy. I need to this attack. Alright. Recoded, and there was 345 slash 7 days on the DS. I know they, like... Remade a lot of the games. They have like that more, I forget what they call it, it's like 2.8, 2.5, stuff like that. Where they brought the older games up to the PlayStation 4 and with more like modern graphics. The only thing is, is for those handheld games, with the exception of Birth by Sleep, all they did was add the cutscenes. So you could at least like catch up to the story. But they didn't give Dream Drop Distance, um, Recoded, or, uh, 365 to whatever days, any actual gameplay. Just a bunch of, uh, high-def cutscenes. I want to go through and I want to play all of the Kingdom Hearts games. Because I've, I've played one, two, Birth by Sleep, and three. No, that was it. But I want to give the handheld ones a try. Oh, I played the, the card game too. I wasn't a big fan of the card game. I was not good at the card game. <laughs> Let's take this guy out. 
recently got that supposed to be here Tuesday according to what eBay says so that'll be interesting but I plan on doing a whole game series of going back and just playing these old games I may just turn my channel into a nostalgia game channel to where I'm like only playing those and then maybe doing like new week new game on Sundays as I normally do because there's a lot of console games that I didn't get to play that I would really be interested in, in trying out and some that I actually want to like play through and beat because I'll play a game and be like eh, I don't really care to finish this game there's a lot of that I also want to do some achievement hunting stuff there's games where like I'm really close to getting a hundred percent trophy progress on and uh, can't seem to do it. There's some that are chance based. Like when uh, I did Luck Be a Landlord, a lot of those achievements are chance based, but I'm nowhere near close to getting all 100. I'm at least, I want to say 60 or 70% of the way there of getting all of them. But there is like 150, 160 different types of um, achievements, and I, I can't do any of them. Things to sleep. The pumpkins to sleep. Put him to sleep. Jesus, these guys should be able to go to sleep. Go to sleep. You too. can put a bookcase, things like that, and shelves. <laughs> Excuse me. I think what I'm gonna have to do is make a whole custom shelf and turn that whole nook into like one large shelf that reaches all the way to the ceiling. Because I've been trying to buy like separate shelves and fitting bookshelves and stuff inside there. Nothing really seems to work. I've debated on just changing my door itself into a bookshelf. So I just put hinges onto a bookshelf that rolls and just use that as my door instead. So I could have uh, more storage space right over there. I think it would be better off if I put the pump in sleep first and then deal with this lichy guy. go 
new different direction. I want to have more of like a, a theme. through like the older videos that I put out and my most popular videos or at least ones that keep getting watched is one dot hack video and that's the hidden forbidden holy ground video and project chemistry seems to get a lot of watches too desire to go back and play Project Chemistry. And then there's the videos for um, that one VTuber game that I played. The Hollow Live game. With the Hollow Live game, I, I do kind of want to go back with uh, Sears Fauna and beat the game. So I'll do that at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do that where I'm recording myself doing that. I probably will. And then putting that up there. On the channel for all to see. What do we got? Uh, starfish. Use your skills. Uh, what's Starfish? Is he paralyzed? Is he asleep? It's been a while since we fought Starfish. Oh no! Uh, is he asleep? He's asleep. He put the Starfish to sleep. I need fire. Which is what Diablo blades. No, where it turns. Frog. Hit him with that dragon rage. I go back to that. Eat that. Uh, don't don't want to do any uh, achievement hunting on it, so I don't want to beat all of it. Go to the right. Skills. I need to change my equipment back to my stealth blades. to sleep. Oh god, he's getting closer. Oh no, he's gonna do an attack. Come to sleep. Take a step back here. Come to sleep. Just really, really need to come to sleep. There we go, right at the end when he's about to die. Let's go get him. Did he just do an attack while he was sleeping? Did he just whack with a, a little, I don't know, that's a tentacle? A little starfish arm slap there? Oh, have any of you been playing the new Pokemon Pocket TCG game that has been out? I've been playing quite a bit. It's now like my time passer game that I play when I'm using the bathroom. But I have been having a good time with that. I've got, they had an event for the Lapras EX. And I got two Lapras EXs. I made a decent deck using Lapras and we got Psyduck and Golduck that I'm running in there along with uh, Snom. And I forget what the moth's name is, but the moth puts them to sleep. I got two copies of Misty. I was playing today against somebody. And with Misty, you have to flip a coin if heads, for each heads that you get, you keep flipping a coin until you get tails. For each heads that you get, you add a uh, energy to the water Pokemon that you chose. So I usually will do that in order to get Lapras up and running. Sometimes I can do that like in the first turn, play a Misty, 
get my Lapras ready to go instead of waiting three turns to keep adding water energy to it. And um, I was waiting against somebody who had the same kind of deck. And out of four Misties that we had, our first coin flip was Tails. Out of all four Misties, all Tails. The highest I have ever gotten in hits with a Misty has been five. I've managed to get five energy on there. But man, that 50-50 chance just doesn't seem like it's 50-50. And then I run also a Marowak, Marowak EX deck as well. I don't have a Primate, which I want to put Primate in that deck. Along with the promo Mankey because that one damages itself. And if I can get damage on Primate, he'll deal 100 damage instead of, uh, is it 40? I think it's his base one that he does. And so I've been just pulling packs, doing wonder packs. Like I was doing all good in the very beginning, getting all the things that I need, pulling what I need. And now that it's like late game, it's like I can't get anything. They're getting that gambling gotcha mechanics good on it. I'm not putting any cash into this game, by the way. I'll just play uh, the game as is and go about. Actually, no, I, I, I'm lying. Because I, I did do the premium subscription. However, the premium subscription is free for a certain set amount of time. And then you can cancel it. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna cancel it. I've already beaten the uh, premium missions. Those are all completely done. Hey, Duke I just need to complete the Lapras event, and now they got a PvP event as well, so I'm going through and doing that, playing against other players. The pumpkins to sleep. About getting out there, that's me about doing something. You're the one with the lightning attacks when you're, you're the one that we need out there. There we go. Both pumpkins are down. Let's see about helping and getting a more damaged one out of here. Don't attack it. She's going up there to attack it. They do prove! I thought as I progressed that there was going to be better like team commands that I could unlock through the Ryu book. And I'm thinking maybe that was GU that did something like that. Because I would have rather them do just kind of like what I do, which is spamming magic over and over again. I just want them to do the same, just keep spamming magic. Don't do any attacks, got physical tolerance, there's no point in you going in there and swinging your weapon at it, because it does nothing. Just be a dirty little spammer like me. Uh, it's been a while since we ran into a guardian, so I'm wondering if at this point... I should just complete the dungeon without going through and doing all of the rooms, like clearing all the rooms out. Uh, I mean, that extra experience is going to be nice. Let's do that then. We'll just go through. We haven't run into one. I doubt we're going to run into one on this floor. Maybe in the next floor. I think the next floor is probably the last floor, though, and we got a boss battle to deal with. Get sleep. There we go. Let's get over there. Let's put our equipment on. Let's get our Miracle Twins. Let's launch the Tempest Strike. Just melt them. Just absolutely melt him.
Because it's not like we're really pulling anything special. I guess this is what makes clearing it all worth it, is going into these rooms and getting the virus cores. It's just one more virus core that I may need for another area. We're almost done with Act 2, by the way. We've got one more net slum area to check out. And I think that's going to be what advances the story. Because the Golden Gob Tag event's the only other thing. And that's just a special event that you don't even really have to do. So I think once I clear this one, clear the other one, it's going to give me something to... Some message or board or something we're going to be moving on to by the final chapter of Act 2. And then getting into Act 3. Hey, Duke Making great project progress. I don't know why I said magic. It's just skills is fine, guys. There's any skills good. Put him sleep. Put that starfish to sleep. Hey, Duke Heals it up. we do the boss battle it lets us keep going so I'll just heal us up boom uh regimes on me already everybody is regimed do you guys even have strength in I haven't checked this entire time who's got what I guess some darkness resistance that's cool that's it. Alright. Um. Should I just put this on? Oh no, I got Miracle Twins already equipped. We're not gonna really be able to, uh, stealth plate them. So we'll just leave the Miracle Twins on. Launch some magic, be the support role that I'm meant to be. As we face off against, uh, Virus Core Monster Guy. Everybody use your skills. Skill. 
on the bed. Put him to bed. There we go. Let's go in there. Let's get my equipment. Give me my miracle twins back. Let's do our skills. Let's go ahead and tempest strike. And melt him. Puros, so Puros can recover. And let's move on. It's Dragon. They do prove. Stealth blades. Let's put that dragon to sleep. We did it. Let's go attack the dragon. Charge. I'm wondering if it's more damage if I do Dark Slash. It feels like more damage. Compared to if I were to just do the level 3 Darkness attacks. Uh, you know, why the hell not? Let's data drain him. Guardian Blade. It's not gonna be that great, is it? Speller, Guardian Blades, level 70. A uh, heavy blade weapon, but yeah, it's not that great. We got three demon males, oh boy. Can only wear one of them. Just means it'll be really good sell fodder. Stone call. Alright, let's see what the God Statue has to offer. What do we got? Made in heaven, crystal stone, and a vessel of sky. Those sound like two weapons of some kind. Made in heaven, a level 81 rare heavy blade. It's too bad it's level 81, but I mean, that's still pretty good. I'm sure I can give it to somebody. Uh, what was the other one? It's made something sky? It's not in the equipment. Vessel of sky, it's a selfie. Cannot be used, sell it for money or trade. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's something that sells for a lot. Yeah, when well, they came up as third, I thought maybe it'd be a sell thing. It's a chest. What do you got? Stone call. It's like glass call, but for stones. What's in here? It's a big skelly guy. Everyone use your skills. I'm gonna put it to sleep. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit back here. Because if I move, we activate the thing in the back, and I don't want to do that. So. He's got darkness tolerance. He can't cast my darkness spells, but I can do a little damage. With our non darkness attacks. Don't care to data drain him. Alright, who are we fighting? Come on, be a guardian. It's not. It's a dragon. Put that dragon to sleep. Not close enough. Put that dragon to sleep. Oh god, we didn't put him to sleep. We're all gonna die. Oh, I'm out of here. Resurrect. Nice. That's gonna come in handy. Uh, Bosley. There we go. We did it. No, I'm just gonna let them, uh, use your skills. They got powerful moves, use them. Give you guys all this amazing equipment in order for you to cast and use these abilities. Use those abilities. Magic time. Boom, 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 spiked him. Oh, 40 experience for them. That's actually not too bad. It's pretty decent. But there we go. We cleared the entire dungeon. We destroyed this level. We got the virus core that we were looking for that was here. We are gonna leave now. Sprite or Karina. There you have it. 
another area conquered and we're we're done everything was amazing everything was awesome we conquered we found more guardians which let's see i'm at level 90 they got brought up to level 87 uh wonder what the rest of the party well they're gonna be different so we saw that with the last time that we did something like that i'll take a, a level where i gotta fight the guardian anytime getting those high levels just boosting everybody up as high as we can i'm wondering if by the end of this game i'll get my character to level 99 i guess that all depends on how many more times you run into the guardian well that is gonna do it for me thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next game of dot heck quarantine goodbye